Indigenous chicken in traditional African community homesteads consume maggots, atworms, grass, and grasshoppers. These birds are supplemented on food leftovers and maize grains. The genetic makeup of this free-ranging bird is largely selected naturally with a potential of up to 66 eggs per hen per year and mature live weights of 1.2 to 1.4 kilograms per bird. Compare this to a well-fed indigenous chicken that can produce in excess of 150 eggs per hen per year and Calro improved indigenous chicken that can lay 220 to 280 eggs every year under semi-intensive and intensive production systems. <laughs> Feeding improved indigenous chicken on commercial feeds increases productivity but takes up about 70% of the total production expenses. This is because a laying bird consumes about 120 grams of feed per day at an average cost of 56 shillings per kilogram. This may be prohibitive to most small-scale farmers with limited resources but desiring to improve productivity of their chicken. I started the poultry farming in 2015. Uh, uh, when we, we started in 2015, we were buying fins, commercial fins, for our chicken. And uh, the feed cost was quite high. This was a challenge to us as farmers. <laughs> We, we know that each particular class or each particular group of animals has got its nutritional requirements. So for you to be able to get the expected production, you have to make sure that you match the nutrient requirements of the, if it is a laying hen, there is a certain amount of crude protein that must be in the diet. Uh, in fact, for laying hens, according to the CAPS standards, the laying hen crude protein in the diet should be not less than 15%. We realize that uh, some of the commercial feeds have less than 15% crude protein in the diet. You know, so the protein is very erratic in terms of now the supply of the raw materials. Okay? And we have found out, especially the small scale menu uh, outlets, feed outlets, okay? Quality goes up and down. Why? Wherever they are sourcing those raw materials, okay, they could be of raw quality compared to some other season. So there is that seasonal variation of quality. But for these big commercial manufacturers, those ones tend to maintain their quality. However, their feeds are the most expensive in the outlet. We have the results which shows that uh, probably some of the feeds in the market are not of the high quality and uh, I think that is an issue that we've always thrown to the county governments to see whether there could be some forum whereby they can uh, follow up and see that uh, there is some regulation to make sure that the feeds are of good quality. The yeah, Bureau of Standards give the minimum or other the standard, if it is growers, what is the standard? If it is uh, layers, what is the standard that should be there? But uh, we don't have, and the council, we've been trying to formulate a policy, but we do not have enabled monitoring unit that can get peak samples, and if they don't meet the standard, you can prosecute. So. We do not have that hub. And that is, I think, what is the biggest challenge in Finns, not just in our county, but in this country as a, as a whole. Korean Program on International Cooperation in Agricultural Technology, COPIA, in partnership with CALRO and county governments of Embu and Rakanithi, supported a research project in 2015 to address the high cost and quality issues in commercial feeds. The objective of the project 
was to formulate and test high-quality chicken feeds that a small-scale farmer could afford. Tuli potengene samare akwanza. Tuli anza kupe akukutje zetu sile sili kwa kisinataga. Kukuse nyewe, tuli onerea, tukawe, mara. Mara tofauti hili, mju finzi se nyewe sili kuwa za na utofauti. Tuli kuwa hile tulikuwa tunatengene sa tulikuwa na raswa nye, bi, C, D, E. Arabu tulikuwa na hile ya kununua kwa manduka. Tulipo asa kupea, tuliona utafauti mkali. Nju rasonia ya ndi B, tuliona kuku simepadilika, sinataka mapema kushinda hapo mbereni, na kuku sinaonekana sinakuwa smart kushinda hapo mbereni, ni kama simeosho, asikawa sabi, na... Sikawa tu ukiziangalia ipi unaona siko sawa sawa. Na tulipopea hii ambayo ya ya the ration kuku zili mayai ni shoot. Two feed rations were born. That is ration A and ration B. And in 2018 the partners sponsored a follow-up 3 year project to demonstrate and promote the two rations. So far it has worked with 160 groups with about 4,000 farmers in these counties. These demos included sampling for quality checks and assessment of general health and egg production by laying chicken. The way we do that is first of all, uh, for 10 days prior to the mixing, they will be feeding on uh, feed which has been bought from the market. They will be feeding on that particular feed and we assess the egg production when they are feeding on the commercial feed. After the 10 days, then we feed the birds on the mixed feed, whether it is ration A or ration B. And what we expect is if our ration A or ration B is superior, we expect egg production to go up. One of the issues that we really endeavor to make sure is that the feed that we mix is of good or is of better quality than what is available in the market. And the only way we can be able to guarantee that is when we use high quality ingredients. So what we do is that even as the farmer groups are preparing to mix the feed, they make sure that they collect a small sample of some of the ingredients so that once we get the sample we take it to our laboratories and we analyze for things like the crude protein, the crude fiber, dry matter percent, just to make sure that uh, whatever we are using to mix is of good quality. Sana sana atujui imekaa munda gani ta kuanduka na saa nyingine tunaenda tunakuta hata ile tunasema ni ni sunflower tunakuta ni kama imeweka kitu kama makaa tuna tunakuenga na chuki kidogo tunasikia si kama we are not satisfied with the product we are getting hizi ingredients hizi vitu kunazo kuna zingine uko nazo kwa shamba yako kitu kama mahindi si mko nayo kwa shamba mm. si ndio Kitu kama sunflower, kama umekuza sunflower, kuna watu wanaenda wanatoa mafuta kwa hiyo sunflower. Sasa ile keki na baki, ikikatakato alafu isiagwe, yu inatoa hii sunflower seed cake meal. Kukomba, msawafu, hizi sunflower zetu tunapanda huku asina mafuta niyo. Nadana kweda kutavuta hii sunflower cake kichuka ama wapu wapu mahali utahendo tumie fea. Na hizi zetu tunajua, zina mafuta mingi hata kuku tunapatia hivi kitu sikiwa, sikiwa tukutuku hivyo na hakuna kitu inafanya. Atuwezi saga hii kwa maana ni kesawa na sani kula wakeki. Crude fiber itakiwi ipitishe more than 7.5%. Hata hile mafuta kwa chakula, I think it should not be more than 10%. Kwa hiyo chakula. Sindio? 
So, saa ingine ukitumia hile sunflower ya inyewe, itakuwa na, na mafuta. Alafu labda ukiweka kwa chakula, sasa itakuwa ina, itakuwa zaidi. Na atutaki kitu iwe, inamepitisha hile kiwango ina, itajika kwa chakula. To ensure good quality ingredients, the farmer must 1. Identify a reputable shop where to buy the ingredients. 2. Inspect the ingredients for any foreign material, for example, metal filings in sunflower seed cake mill, damage by insects, mold, loss of natural color, and any other abnormalities. Also, do not use ingredients whose expiry date is past. 3. Smell ingredients to detect any rotten or unusual odor. 4. Fill ingredients for caking, dampness, bad texture, hardness, warmth, and any other abnormalities. And lastly, take a sample of wheat bran, maize jam, fish meal, sunflower seed cake meal, and soya bean meal for quality check in an animal nutrition laboratory. I would like you to determine the dry matter content, okay. the ash content, okay. good protein content. Once the ingredients pass all the quality checks, prepare to mix feed by determining quantity and availing all ingredients according to form and proportions given in the formula for each ration. It is recommended, however, to mix a minimum of 100 kilograms to be cost effective. In order to make 100 kilograms of ration A, for example, weigh and mix the ingredients as follows. 1. 59 kilograms of maize ground through size 2 sieve in a armor mill and pour it on a clean canvas or polythene sheet. 2. Add 20 kilograms of soya bean meal onto the ground maize. 3. Add 9 kilograms of stock limestone. 4. Add 5 kilograms of sunflower seed cake meal. 5. Add 5 kilograms of fish meal. And lastly, using hands, mix the above ingredients thoroughly to uniformity. The other ingredients are smaller in quantities and are weighed and mixed separately in order to increase their bulk and in order to evenly spread throughout the mixture. They are therefore weighed and mixed to uniformity in an open container as follows. 1. 1 kilogram of dicalcium phosphate. 2. 0 0.35 kilograms of iodized salt. 3. 0 0.25 kilograms of vitamin mineral premix for layers. 4. 0 0.05 kilograms of methionine. 5. 0 0.10 kilogram of lysine. And lastly, 0 0.25 kilograms of toxin binder. After mixing the smaller ingredients to uniformity in the container, spread this mixture onto the already mixed ingredients on the canvas or polythene sheet and mix to uniformity. Take a sample of the ration. Label, pack, and deliver for quality check in an animal nutrition laboratory. Pack the rations in well-labeled storage bags, indicating feed type and the mixing date. Store under ideal conditions and to be used within six months. <laughs> in poultry production, most of the cost goes to feed. And in this time, because farmers are formulating their own, 
we are cutting down the cost almost by 30 percent. Making things has been cheaper. Uh, AKG, uh, when we calculate uh, after buying the, the locally available materials, AKG now comes to around 40 shillings, 40, 41, 42. But uh, you go to the market now, you buy a kg of layer fins at uh, 60 shillings per kg. So this is cheaper and we, we are happy, we are grateful to Carol for guiding us, for showing us this uh, method of making fins. We are also assured of quality, our, our chicken fin on quality fins. Going forward. In future, you will not find us mixing with our hands and the shovels. We intend to use the mixers and the millers. These are there, already they have been bought for our group. So our group already has a miller and a mixer for, the, for making feeds, like any other. Actually, we are encouraging the youth to stop looking for white collar jobs and go into farming, because there, there is money. Uh, uh, like uh, if you have a hundred chicken and it brings you around eight and eight thousand shillings in a month or two, I think that is good money. You don't need to go into white uh, white collar jobs that are not available. And actually, we are telling them when you are working the white collar jobs, you are you are making somebody else richer. The livelihoods of our members have, has greatly been improved uh, since we started making fins. Uh, the members who could not raise uh, school fees are now comfortably able to raise the fees. Their livelihoods in general, even when you look at them generally, they look quite well up. And this is all because of the poultry farming. Uh, initially, we were not like this. Indeed. Russian A and Russian B formula has not only cut costs, it has changed the lives of farmers in Embu and the Rakaniti counties. And their chicken. And from here, they are not only determined to mix more of this feed, but expect research to work on chick and grower's feed.